Use the magnitudes rounded to two decimal places of the 100 earthquakes included in the accompanying data set to construct a frequency distribution. Use a class width of 0 0.50 and begin with a lower class limit of 0, 0.00. Does the frequency distribution appear to be a normal distribution? So we should begin by using the class width to fill out the lower class limits for each of the classes. We will do this by repeatedly adding 0.5. So 0 0.00 plus 0 0.50 will be 0 0.50. Now continue down and add 0.5 again. This would be 1. And then 1.5. 2. 2.5. Now the classes must be non-overlapping. Our Measurement precision is to the hundredths place. So we will subtract one hundredth from each of these lower class limits to get the upper class limit for the previous class. So this will be 0 0.49 and then 0 0.99, 1 1.49, 1.99, 2.49, and 2.99. Now we need to fill in the frequencies. We are going to click this icon to view the earthquake magnitude data set. If we click this little rectangle here, we get an option to open the data set in StatCrunch. We will click Graph, Histogram, and then click Variable 1 so that it appears in the active box. We were told to start the data set at 0, 0.00 and to use a width of 0 0.5. Next, we'll click Value Above Bar and click Compute. Now we have the frequencies for each class listed above each of these bars. In other words, there were 10 items between 0 and 0 0.5, and then there were 31 items between 0 0.5 and 1. So we will use these frequencies to fill out the frequency column in the homework problem. So there were 10, 31, 37, 14, 6, and 2. Does the frequency distribution appear to be a normal distribution? We can see that this frequency distribution appears to be roughly mound shaped. The frequencies start low, increase, and then decrease again. They are roughly symmetric, but not perfectly symmetric. So we might say that the frequency distribution could reasonably be a normal distribution because the frequencies start low and then increase and are roughly symmetric.